Hello everybody, welcome again at Smart Education. Today or tonight I have the really privilege to talk with uh, Dr. Tim Gabbett. Tim, how are you? I'm well, thank you. We have Tim with us for a two-day workshop about load management, how to train smarter and harder. Um, tonight here uh, in Ghent we're also having an evening seminar where we will speak for about I think 100 people uh, even. Um, but just a, a quick chat to, to Tim about uh, the course today. We uh, talked about load and maybe that was my first question for you Tim. What is load actually? Give well, a definition. It's a, it's a good question to start with since it's a, a load management workshop. Uh, we can look at load in two, two ways. We can look at it in terms of external load or we can look at it in terms of internal load. External load is the work that you do in preparing for your sport or actually performing the demands of your sport. So it could be the distance that you run, the weight that you lift, the number of times you jump or the number of times you throw a ball. That's all a measure of external load. We can also measure the internal response to that load, and we call that internal load. Uh, things like heart rate, our, our rating of perceived effort, blood lactate concentration, even some biomechanical um, joint, joint forces are considered internal load. Um, the final point about load is that our ability to handle load at any given day can change. It can change from day to day based on a whole heap of external factors like stress or sleep, health factors. Um, so we have external load, internal load, and our ability to tolerate it is dependent on the whole heap of external yeah. factors. That's a really good definition. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And then the next step, um, because we're all physios here uh, in, in our network, yeah, um, how, how are our physios capable of using the load monitoring uh, when treating athletes, when uh, helping athletes to perform at their best level? About injury prevention, uh, return to peak performance? Yeah, well, I think, I think a lot of people think that um, load, effective loading is about peak performance, but, and it, it's certainly about that, but physios play a really important role in getting athletes back to peak performance. Mm -hmm. um, and what they do in rehab is, is the foundation for what happens post that. So if you can load well in rehab, it sets the athlete to handle the load that they're going to handle in the reconditioning process, which eventually sets the athlete up to handle the load that they need to handle as part of their sport. Mm -hmm. So um, effective loading is, in, in my mind, is critical for a physiotherapist. If you're not loading your athletes, then you're not doing the right thing by them. And you have to load, we want to load quickly, we want to get our athletes back, but we also want to get them back safely. Mm -hmm. um, so the whole idea of uh, load management and training smarter and harder is to to get our athletes loading and loading more yeah perfect well people who didn't have the opportunity to attend to the two-day workshop here in Ghent uh, with Tim uh, today and tomorrow uh, I have some good news because he's coming back um, because we not only to teach a course because we have to drink and, and uh, well at least we have to uh, taste the, the beautiful Belgian beers. Um, he heard for the first time about Duvel today, so we'll yes. be doing that firstly today, and then in March next year, Tim will uh, uh, give another two-day workshop on load management and how to train harder and smarter, uh, and that will be in Leuven. So I hope to see you all there. Tim, you'll be there for sure. I will definitely be there. I, okay. I visited Leuven uh, on this trip, and yeah. it's a beautiful, beautiful city, so I can't wait to get back there. Not to forget beautiful people as well. Beautiful people, beautiful beer, beautiful Belgian chocolate. What more could you want? Okay, thank you, Tim.